We just landed in Venice and we have 48 hours to make the most of this beautiful city. Stop the clock. Okay, so to get from the airport to Venice, we need to actually catch what they call a water bus. I'm not really sure what that is, but we need to buy this ticket. So let's see how this goes. Airport to Venice. One way. There is 15 euro per person, which is not that cheap. I think our boat is here. Jacqueline hasn't even landed, but she's already looking at the restaurants. Where to eat tonight. I'm excited. I love the Italian food. Okay, we are three hours in and we've managed to find somewhere for dinner and we opted for an Italian classic. Surprise. Massive, massive pizzas and some wine. Now, now the pizza was $8.50 and the wine was four euro each. So we're eating for 25 dollars, uh, euros, for 25 euros. Okay, it is currently quarter past nine. We didn't get out too early, but nothing really opens in Italy that early anyway. So we are heading out into Venice now. And our plan today, according to Max, is to just get lost and wander around Venice and see what we have a chance upon. So I am a big planner and I love using maps to get around, but Max has challenged me today not to use maps and just go with the flow. And I guess the flow is starting now. So let's go. We actually watched a very quick documentary last night on Venice because we didn't really know like how Venice came to be and interestingly these wells are all closed off they're not allowed to use them anymore because they originally dug them to give a fresh water source to the city but unfortunately they dug so deep that it compromised the foundations of Venice and so it was actually adding to the reason why Venice is sinking. So they've closed them all up, you're not allowed to dig any more wells, but damage is done. It is magical here, it's so, so beautiful. If you're wondering, no, we have not pulled out the map yet, so we're just walking yeah. pointlessly from beautiful streets to beautiful streets. But honestly, it's so worth it. Like, I know there's things to actually see in Venice as well, but I think the reason you come to Venice is just to see Venice in general. So, although I hate to admit it, I do feel like Max has make, made us do it the right way. Uh, the gondolas are ridiculously expensive. They start at 80 euro for half an hour and that might not even be a private gondola, that might be like a shared one. So we're probably gonna skip the gondola ride even though it would be très romantique. <laughs> yeah. The price isn't that romantic. Exactly. We just found the cutest little door ringers. I really want to ring one, should I do it? No, 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 it's someone's home. <laughs> I'm just joking, I wasn't gonna do it. What was I? You Viking. the obligatory <laughs> thank you thank you two euro for one scoop in a cone my hazelnuts mm. do we look like goddamn tourists now yes <laughs> did we before yes, yes. <laughs> we found the crown it all started with us in an empty street <laughs> and this is the shoulder season this isn't even peak season 
kind of imagine what it would be like. So this is where we've also heard that eating or drinking anything at any of the restaurants in this area is outrageously expensive. So one cafe espresso, seven euro. So we're just watching some people get gondola rides and there's a million gondolas right here and it doesn't there's so many tourists walking by on the street kind of just staring at you and the gondola um captains the, go the gondola captains are all like talking to each other whilst you're trying to enjoy your gondola ride and considering yeah i think we made a good decision to not do it it doesn't feel very romantic so we found what Max says is the bridge of love. I don't know if it's a special bridge, I know that, but I guess it's the first bridge in Venice. Is I don't it know. Though, I, he's just saying, he doesn't know. He's just, just saying these things. I'm thing. just making it up. It, it's very busy and I know it's something special. Okay, so we just Google it. There's four bridges spanning across the main canal, which is what we're standing in front of right now. And the Rialto Bridge is one of those four, but it's one of the most picturesque ones, and that is why it's so popular. There you have it, folks. That's why. It is also called the Bridge of Love. Is it though? It didn't come up in my search. Okay, we ended up stopping for lunch. Finally, we found something on the street. It's this little hole in the wall place and we have this amazing table like right on the canal it's right on the canal it's floor to ceiling window it's amazing and we got it honestly i don't know what these are but they're like these sandwich things filled with cheese meat spinach all sorts one of these is a meatball and the other one is an arancini bowl and a couple of glasses of wine it's pretty good. It was worth the wait because we needed something with toilets because you have to pay for it with toilets and a sit down so we can have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. So we had a few little criteria and it seemed like we found a good place. Also, and obviously not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get my lefts and rights wrong and I like to have the map facing the way that I'm heading rather than having it facing north which really frustrates Max and sometimes they kind of send us in the opposite direction to what we're supposed to be going. So Max has now challenged me with the task of trying to get home without using Google Maps but I did get to look at the map before we started walking so I think the general direction we need to head in is north, slightly east, if that's the direction. I think it is. So luckily, my watch has a compass, and that's going to help me a lot. But let's see. None of these streets look familiar. We definitely haven't been down here. We definitely didn't pass this Sephora. This right here, people. That's where we had breakfast. I don't want to say I'm amazing at directions, but I clearly am. It's this way. <laughs> we are strolling on past our second landmark that I remember from the beginning of our walk this morning. This big old tree. What do you have to say for She's yourself? She's winning so far. I'm so proud of myself. Honestly, the compass on this watch, I couldn't have done it without it. This is the real MVP. Okay, so we just relaxed for a good two hours, not that much. We worked as well. Jacqueline didn't do as much as I did. Oh my god, more, did more. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to get ready. Jacqueline is making herself pretty. I am actually ready as well. Uh, but it is going actually. With that top on? Yeah, it's my favorite top. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. It's the new Gucci, guys. Oh, right, right, right. It is a fine, actually, if you walk around shirtless in Venice. So. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm. So, do you nice think 
cancelled. Not feeling the best. I'm a bit nauseous. I don't know why. But we don't want to waste a nice dinner when I'm not feeling well and I'm not going to be able to eat much because it's expensive. <laughs> so we are going to get some takeaway pasta from a place that was recommended online by multiple sources to be really good takeaway pasta and we're gonna go and eat it in bed with a movie which is a date night really in itself yes. so the idea is that we want to eat pasta tonight and when i was doing research as to where to eat the pasta this place where it's pasta to go can recommend it so you see like tiny little egg spot but basically then there's a pasta right in front of you here and then you choose the sauce so you have a different sauce choice Bolognese, Romana, Pellivola, Cinevese, Pellivese and then basically you choose from any toppings and you can choose your pasta Maybe the pesto, oh my god. Wow. So they insisted that you can't eat them later. You have to eat them as you as you get them because of the freshness in a way. But I've sacrificed my spaghetti when we get home. And I'm keeping the pesto for now. Let me show you. Merci. And then we got shoot around me so happy gal. So we oh my god, so glad she's sick. <laughs> So we ended up getting four pasta boxes because Max needed two, I needed one, and we got one for my mom as well, which we're taking back to her. But they told us that you shouldn't carry it and you need to eat it immediately. So we have to eat ours as we walk, is what they told us. And mom just has to suffer for not being there, but I'm sure it'll still be really good. So good. And we also got two takeaway tiramisus. And the guys there were so nice and lovely as well, and just so much fun. So definitely, and the pasta yeah, is amazing. The main uh, platter resistance, it's delicious, yeah. guys. And this huge box of pasta is just seven euro. Probably the best deal that you're gonna get in Venice for a very good pasta. The fresh pasta. Good morning. Good morning. It is day two into our 48 hours in Venice and we have seven hours left for today. So we are going to start our day with breakfast. Let's go. We did it again, people. We ate without <laughs> recording. Basically it was three eggs, bacon, salad and coffee. And all of that, all of that for nine euros or 8.90 each. And we were out on the promenade. It's a glorious day in Venice and we're going to do some more wandering around, check out some other areas that we didn't get to see yesterday before we jump on our train this afternoon. So in the square there are those two huge columns. The legend has it that there actually was three who were meant to be there, but they were all brought here on different ships and one of the ships actually sunk in the harbour here. Now, another thing about it is that in the 18th century, Venice abolished gambling but anyone who was caught gambling would be hung by those pillars and would be facing this way, which is opposite of the water. And right opposite the water, there is a clock. And the expression that goes, I'll show you what time it is, is from that. And the result of that is locals or Venetians have the superstition that if you walk in between them, it's bad luck. And therefore all this tourists are about to die. <laughs> that was really dark. <laughs> Gelato. Quick tip for you people, cheap cones, they are the standard one. If you ask for the good cones, they'll give you the good cones, waffle cones. <laughs> but two euros a scoop. And delicious. We just found a sign that lets you go on a gondola ride for two euro just to get across the water from this area right now to like the main square and we're gonna do it 
Yeah, that is that is <laughs> the bargain of the day, guys. 80 from 80 euros to two euros. Ready for our romantic gondola ride? Yeah. No, I'll just play it. <laughs> Epidemic sound, woman. You want me to get a guitar and <laughs> serenade me? <laughs> Grazie. First and last gondola ride. Um, worth every penny. That was pretty cool. Very quick. It was quick. I mean, it's two euro. What do you expect for two euro? It was amazing. I loved it. So yeah, I'm so glad we did I'm this. I'm so glad we found that. Yeah, to all of you cheap travelers, aka like us. Honestly, it's really. I mean, it's worth it to say you've been on a gondola. Yeah. Guess you found. We made some cute friends. Yeah. <laughs> We are about to grab our bags and head on over to the train station. We've got an hour and 40 minutes until our train comes, which is a lot of time, but we're going to walk to the train station and it takes a long time to walk anywhere in Venice, especially if you're dragging suitcases and a heavy backpack. So once we get there, we can grab some snacks or some lunch before we jump on the train. And then carrying our bags over bridge number two. We'll see how many we have to carry our bags over to get to the train station. Bridge number three. What bridge number? Four. Bridge number four. And bridge number five. All right, bridge number six. <laughs> Starting to getting hard. Yeah, it's starting to be hot, getting guys. Sweaty. The back is starting to be very hot with this backpack yeah. on it. Jackie and I did our homework, and there's 460 gondola left, gondola riders, but there's only one woman. Guess who just showed up? The one female gondola rider in Venice. I mean, that's according to the internet. The internet never lies. <laughs> <laughs> That's number seven. Bridge number eight. <laughs> and we've just reached beautiful bridge number nine. We All right. made it, we finally. Made it. <laughs> that actually took us over an hour with walking here and getting our snacks at the grocery store. So I'm very happy that we left early. And also because we haven't actually been to this part of Venice yet near the train station. So it's really beautiful and I'm glad that we came a little bit early. We can appreciate it. This is the end of our 48 hours in Venice. Hopefully you learned a few things. Thank you so much for watching. But as you can tell, we're going to the next destination. So make sure you watch the next one. So we're going to leave you here and we'll see you in Rome. Bye. A lot of food. Bye. Bridge number nine. No, bridge number eight. To make our way through. Oh my God, this looks so cool, the effect. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay, so we end the phone. <laughs> Max! What is wrong with me? <laughs>